Okay, so, uh, hey guys, and today I'm doing another mod review. I'm doing the, um, My People mod. And it's quite fun, because, like, you can make clones and stuff. And I'll just show you this, but I need to go into Game Mode Zero for this, just so that you can, like, see the effects. Because, well, what I mean by effects is, well, the first thing you need to craft to start on this mod is a empty needle and you need um five iron and one piece of butter like that and then you need to craft an empty test tube like that and with the with the empty needle and the empty test tube so the empty needle you do that you just right click it and it'll do you some damage, and you'll get nausea for, uh, let's see how long, you'll get, well yeah, you'll get nausea, weakness, and hunger for about a minute. So that's annoying. Oh, nausea is really annoying. Oh, I'm sick. So yeah, this, all this will happen. Oh yeah, and that's an egg. I'll come on to that later. But, oh gosh. I'm gonna go get some milk. Oh, I'm on survival. Poo. Oh well. So when you've done that, you're gonna want to. You see that? You see, I right clicked on on the um on the thingy, the injector thingy, and I got a thing saying your blood, which is nice. So then if you just put an empty test tube with your blood, let's just put that in there. Oh, good, my nose is gone. Then you will get a test tube that has your blood in it. And then you need to make a centrifuge, which I know it looks a bit weird, but that's just because the textures aren't working for some reason. So you need a piston in each corner, iron ingots like that, and a diamond in the middle. So that's pretty hard to craft, but it's worth it. So when you've got the, um, I'll just leave it there. When you've got the centrifuge, you need to get the centrifuge and your blood, and then what you do is put the centrifuge down, put your blood in there, and put coal in the middle. And you can put as many your bloods as you want. You can put them like all around. So then it will keep doing that. And let's just wait till it's finished. There we go. Then you get your blood separated. Oops, from the chest. Your blood separated, as you see here. And then, if you put your blood separated with an empty needle, you get your DNA. And then, if you put a bone meal with an egg and your DNA in a crafting table, you get a human egg. And, let's just chuck that in there. When you've got the human egg, you're going to want to... It, if you right-click it, it says how long it has to go. But... Um, the only the only way that it can actually hatch is if you pull a lever, and then it'll take about two Minecraft days. Yeah, because it, it needs to have a redstone current on it, and then it'll take two, about two Minecraft days, and then, yeah, it will hatch. And then, if you get another one of your blood separated and a compass, you get a clone tracker. And then if you use the clone tracker, when you right click it, it like shows you all your clones and like stuff to do with them. And I know how to cheat with this. If you don't want, oh yeah, in creative, there is actually a spawn clone egg. And I think also this mod enables you to craft crafting eggs. I, I mean, sorry, spawning eggs. But I don't really, I, I haven't really, it doesn't really say much about that on the forms that I looked on, so, yeah. But, um, I know how to cheat with this, if, like, you think it's taking too long. Just do time, oops, time set, like, something way off, like, like that. And there we go, it ha it's hatched. And let's just change it back. Okay. So, anyway, there we go, it's hatched, it's teeny, and it's called Steve. And it's got, it says 10 out of 10, that's how many hearts it's got. You can turn that off now. So with Steve, you can like, well, if on the clone tracker, you should see him, but you don't for some reason. Probably a glitch bug thingy. Yeah, hopefully that will be fixed. 
But anyway, so you can see a little guy called Steve. And when I say a little guy, he is a little guy. And he's got five hearts. And if, if like, he's got XP, he can, like, you can make him fight people and sprint. And he, you can make him follow you. And you can make him break blocks. And you can make him pick up items and walk to items. And you can make him just stay where he is. And... Curious means that he just like looks around and I guess farming is like breaking stuff, but I don't know what female does. I don't really know if anyone knows what female does, but with stats on and off, you can see in the background the green stuff just disappears because, yeah, that's like his stats. And you can change his name, and with the name that you change, it can be your skin as well. So if I did the Butter Ranger, two, wait, two, then, hey look, it's Patrick, hey, yeah, if you haven't met him yet, he's on the PvP server video that I did, so please go check that out, but, yeah, and then, so, you can, like, I, I, I really like to do this, it's really fun, if I just get rid of all this, and do Sky, the oops, sky the kid rs i love that and if you turn stats off then sky but that's not sky he's too teeny to be sky this is why i have the glistening melons i just i think i don't know how many you need let's just find out no i don't want them sky you take them Let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, you need eleven. I'll be taking out that. Yeah, so you need 11, um, 11 glistening melons to make them really big. And oh my gosh, it's Sky Does Minecraft. Yeah. So that's pretty fun. Like, you can pretend there's people there and stuff. And my clone tracker still isn't working, which is annoying. But with the clone trackers, if it ever did work... Oh, look, he's, he's following. He can follow me because I put on the setting follow. So, yeah. And... Uh, yeah, he'll, like, um, like, tamed mobs. If, if I get too far away, he'll teleport to me. And, yeah, but if your clone tracker was working, then, um, you'd be able, if you were holding redstone in your hand, you'd be able to, like, teleport them to you, or teleport you to them. So, yeah, that's kind of fun. Uh, so, yeah, that's the end of this mod. Um, that's Sky, and I'm the Butter Ranger. And see you guys. Bye. Oh, and also a little thing I forgot to mention. If you right click on them, uh, you can do kill. Patar. And sorry for any background noise, but oh, I just killed Sky, and you probably just got a lot of background noise. Sorry about that. But um. Uh, if I just go back into creative, and I get a spawn clone, I think this only works, yeah, if you're in creative you can do this, but you can copy the clone as many times as you want, so I can get a, hundred, a thousand of them, and look, just push them, I have a thousand mini steves, isn't that just awesome, and it will also copy all the settings and names and stuff, so, Oh, there's my cat. Uh, somewhere over there, I made... I don't know where they are now. But... Uh, if I can find them... It's going to be somewhere over here. Uh, oh, there they are. Yeah, I made an entire army of me. I cloned myself. And that happened. Yep. Squid! So there's loads and loads of me's. And you can like give them items and stuff, so. 
There we go. That's the item that he's holding, and that's like his inventory. And you can transfer stuff from his inventory to your inventory. So look, he's holding the red sword. And sorry for the background noise, as I said before. And also, you can like put armor on, and then yeah. And uh, say he picked up my spawn phone, and I'm just like, hey, I want that. It's his, it's in his inventory now. It's in mine. Ta-da! So screenshot. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, that probably is the end.